Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to jackbendahan.com um, and my YouTube channel. Just wanted to give you some value today. There's a book that I've been reading for a long time. I picked this book up about three years ago and uh, just really studying it now. Um, it almost looks like a Bible. Uh, it's uh, actually the original 1925 edition without anything stripped from it from um, Napoleon Hill. It's called The Law of Success. And I spoke about this in my blog and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of give you some value. I'm going to go over this book. I've been studying it and I've been taking like um, the best tips from this book and applying it to both my businesses, both my network marketing business and my uh, insurance sales business. You can apply it to any sales business really. I think you can apply it to anything. It doesn't matter what you're doing in life. This book, um, just to give you kind of the, the background here, is Napoleon Hill basically went around and he interviewed the most sex successful people of his time, of his generation, the most wealthiest, successful, most confident um, individuals, there are hundreds of them. It took him 20 years to write this book and it's based on 15 or 16 principles. Um, and the first principle, uh, just to give you some value here, the first principle is talking about um, you have to have a burning desire for whatever you get into. If you don't have that burning desire, if there's no desire there at all, then you're gonna be in trouble. You're not really gonna be that successful in what you're doing. So there's gotta be something in you that says, hey, I, I really, like, you know, I love this. Like, this is, I'm passionate about this, and this is what I wanna do. And if you don't feel that way right now, chances are that, you know, I'm not saying change careers right away, but you may wanna look at something else because Without that, uh, you know, you're, it's, it's going to be hard to move forward uh, and create the success that you really want to achieve. The second thing that he talks about is called a definite uh, purpose. So definite purpose means, and, and this can get confusing, you may read the chapter about five, ten times. In fact, Napoleon Hill states that you probably won't be able to really truly justify your definite purpose until after you've read through the entire book. So. And your definite purpose is basically triggered by the, uh, the burning desire. Um, your definite purpose should be something that is inspiring to you, something that you, time just flies by when you do it and uh, it doesn't seem like work to you. Um, it's something that you really want to achieve, that you, vis that you visualize, that you have you know, uh, kind of like a vision of what you want your life to be like, of how you want to be perceived, of what you want to achieve, of who you want to be known as, who you want to become, and, and, and maybe that's not who you are now. Uh, but that's what the primary focus is, is constantly going back to that definite purpose. And you may be completely opposite of what you, where you want to be, but looking at that, that definite purpose that you write out, um, that is going to motivate you before you go to bed and in the morning when you wake up and you look at that daily. And the third thing that you want to do with that is you want to create a definite plan. And that definite plan should be almost like a five-year plan. You know, you want to know what actions are you going to take and what steps are you going to take. And it's got to be long, drawn out, very methodical plan that includes what you do daily and because the daily things are the most important thing. What you do daily and what you um, uh, commit to doing daily will ultimately dictate your success. So this definite plan, um, you know, may, maybe it's, you know, it, it has to do with two businesses because you're in sales, let's say, and that's your passion is, is motivating people and uh, learning about sales and in being enthusiastic about the products that you're offering. So that plan can encompass, you know, two companies if you want. It's just you gotta have. It's gotta be a definite plan that you stick to, and um, yeah, you can make adjustments along the way if things are going wrong. But that plan has got to be, you know, it's got to be thorough. It should even include like, you know, dollar amounts of what you expect or what you're, what you, what you want to achieve, you know, year after year after year for at least five years, and then, you know, you're your definite purpose may change, you know, because you'll change, right? So things may may change where you want to, you know, do things differently. And the last step is action. And we talk about this all the time, but action is everything. If you do not commit to action, activity, daily, 
weekly, monthly, yearly. If you don't do any activity at all, you're gonna get nowhere because you're doing nothing, right? So action, uh, one of my big mentors always tells me the same thing. Action cures all ills. So it doesn't matter what struggle you're going through in life. It doesn't matter, you know, who crashed into your car. It doesn't matter about the temperature outside. All that matters is, is that every day you try to commit to those same actions that are gonna give you the results that you need. Which brings me to a completely separate New Year's uh, kind of tip that I got. And I uh, truly believe that this tip was the best tip I think I've ever heard. It's something so simple, but we just never think about it. And it's basically is, don't stop focusing on the things that you can't control, okay? You cannot control uh, how many people will sign up with you tonight. Uh, you cannot control how many people are going to say yes and how many people are going to say no to whatever it is that you're offering them. But what you can control is you can control the amount of activity that you perform on a daily basis. You can control the amount of phone calls you make. You can control the amount of value that you put into the world, whether it be through blogging or sharing information uh, by YouTube videos or offering people advice on Facebook uh, or going door to door. You can control all of that. So basically the New Year's, biggest New Year's tip I got was fo don't focus on what you can't control, focus on what you can control. And ultimately, the more activity that you perform consistently, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, that's what creates success. This is what every leader in my company, um, outside of my company, and any mentor that I've ever known has always shared with me. So, I hope that added tremendous value to your day. Um, I really love this book, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to commit over the next uh, many weeks, I'm going to at least include one or two videos on the principles. And this principle that I uh, spoke about today uh, on uh, the law of success, uh, that principle was actually called, so let me just give you the name, the definite purpose. Okay, so the definite purpose is a big one. Uh, if you feel uh, that you uh, want to get more uh, value, uh, online marketing tips, offline marketing tips for whatever business you're in, whether it be in sales or network marketing, I'm in both. Uh, feel free to download my absolutely free book. Everybody loves to come back. You can go to www.jackbendahan.com. Just put in your name and email and you'll get it absolutely free. Uh, it's a great story and it has a lot of amazing nuggets that you can use in your business and uh, I hope that helps you out. Thanks for joining me today. Talk to you soon.